Yo, today we're taking a look at the new Rincon Gen 2. No, I'm not married. Although my girlfriend very much enjoys that I wear the ring on this finger. Let's talk about this ring. It's pretty dope. Resume is a heavyweight. Yeah, put it on my back. Give me everything. Yeah, I need. So the Rincon Gen 2, smart ring. This thing is pretty cool, man. It's super thin, it's incredibly lightweight. It's wicked smart. So smart rings are the next ones up, I guess. We're, we're, we're just, we're gonna be loaded. Smart earrings, smart hats, smart underwear. Smart underwear might be good. Like, I guess I'm gonna have to poop in 10 minutes. My underwear knows, I'll be right back. In a lot of ways, the smart ring is way more convenient than wearing something like a smart watch because Honestly, after a little while, you don't even really remember that it's there. I sleep with it comfortably. I tried sleeping with my Apple Watch. Not very, not, not, not mm -hmm. but this, ever since Rincon sent it over, I've been sleeping with it every night, tracking my sleeping. That has been my main thing. And yeah, it's pretty good. All right, let's talk about the basics real quick. Rincon 2 is the first smart ring to provide sleep apnea monitoring. And I tried it and I ain't got sleep apnea. Thank, thank, thank the Lord. Praise Jesus. Another thing about the ring con is it's battery life. 10 to 12 days of spectacular. Give me 14 of them right now. Battery life days. It's fantastic. Like you could plan out a vacation. And if you're only staying for about a week, week and a half, you don't even need to bring a charger with you. Battery life is insane. And we have something that I appreciate a lot, which is a wireless charging case. The charging case itself supports 15 to 20 charges of the ring on one charge of the case. Is that not insane? Battery life is, I wish my iPhone had the battery life that the Rincon Gen 2 has. That would be fantastic. Now, the bigger your finger is, the bigger the size of the ring that you get, the more battery they can put in this thing. So the bigger people with the bigger hands and bigger fingers that are going to get the bigger rings are going to have a little bit better battery life than the people with the smaller fingers. But either way, you're still getting over well over a week on one single charge, which is sweet. As of right now, this is the world's thinnest and lightest smart ring. And it definitely show. I mean, it feels like you're like, is there a battery in this? Are there real electronics in this thing? Because it, I, it wouldn't even hold down a piece of paper in a gust of wind. This thing is lightweight, which is why it's so comfortable to sleep with every night. Also, wash my hands every single day, at least once a day, and don't have to worry about taking this off. It's water and dust proof, so good to go there. And you're good to go no matter what phone you have, iOS or Android. You got an app for it, and you can get all your statistics. Speaking of statistics, I have recently just hooking up and taken up bicycling. In the app, Rincon just happened to have just added workouts, which is great. You could do outdoor running, indoor running, outdoor cycling, and outdoor walking. Three, two, one. Tells you all about your speeds. It tells you about how many miles you've gone, your heart rate, how many calories you've burned. You just buy a little bike mount, put your phone right there, you can check your speed, you can check all your statistics, and it's great. We got our stress levels on here, and I seem to be doing all right. Not, I'm not super stressed these days, which is, which is good. I'm happy. The app is really well laid out, nice design. I'm a visual person. Everything looking clean and minimalistic, and that's exactly what they went for here. Now, I did do a test where, for the first time in my life, I actually did sleep with my Apple Watch, because I'm like, I wonder how accurate this ring is, or vice versa, how accurate the Apple Watch is. I'm unconscious, so it's really hard to tell. You know, we toss and turn, we wake up, we don't even know we're awake sometimes. So it's really hard to know how accurate these devices really are, I guess unless you put a camera on yourself and film yourself the whole night. The first night, the Apple Watch, for some strange reason, said that I only slept two hours and 17 minutes. Now, the second day that I slept with both devices, the Apple Watch was a little bit more accurate, but they were about 20 something minutes apart from each other. So I still don't know, but given that the Apple Watch messed up on the first day and the Rincon has been pretty consistent for the last two weeks, I'm gonna go with the Rincon here. I think it's pretty accurate and it's always snug on your finger. By the way, for any of you out there responding to why don't you just switch to a different finger, A, this ring finger is thinner than this ring finger is. 
and this ring don't fit on any other finger. It's either too tight or too big on the pinkies or else I would pinky ring it right up like a G. Also, they have a nice widget, which by the way, side note here, if you're on a iPhone, we all have this page that I guarantee none of us ever use. And that is the page left to your home screen. And if you just fill it up with the right widgets that you're going to use on a daily basis, it's I, I use it every single day. Never did I use this page before. And then I'm like, you know what? Let me start loading this page up with things that I'm actually going to use. So we got our home kit up here. We got our battery bar here. We have our ring con widget here that shows your sleep, your activity, your battery percentage and your stress levels. And then I have my little Apple fitness widget here as well, because I do wear an Apple watch every single day, but the widget's really nice. Let's see where my battery is at right now. Cause I'm sure it needs to connect 74%, which means I have eight days and 21 hours left. I only charged this thing once and I didn't even need to also in the app. There's no subscription fee. It's just, there's no fee. It's just, that's it. You buy the ring and you get the app, you get to use the app and that's it. Now as for pricing, they have a few different options going on here. They have a Kickstarter, which is only going to be live for a few more days. But if you're watching this video early, you can check it out right now. All links will be in the description below and you can still pick it up on Amazon. If you don't make the Kickstarter early bird price, either way, if you're in the market for a smart ring that does a lot and is lightweight and is reliable and it's 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 a great product it really is i wouldn't be back in this if i didn't think it was i actually told them send it to me i'm gonna have to wear it for a couple of weeks and see how i like it and i'm checking the app at least three times a day just to check different statistics that the app has given me so i'm enjoying it i'm gonna continue to wear it i wish i got a different size so we could put it on a different finger but it is what it is i'm, I'm taking anyway ladies thank you guys for watching Thank you, Rincon, for sending over the Gen 2. Again, links in the description below if you want to check it out for yourself. Subscribe, thumbs up, all that good stuff. I will see you next time. Solo!